is upskilling required after an MBA? A lot of us have this doubt. Well, we are here to clear that up for you. Samir Asif, an MBA graduate, unravels a truly unique and awe-inspiring journey in Skillovilla success stories as he defies conventions to pave a distinct path in the world of data science. Let's get started. Hey, hi Samir. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. How are you? All good, same here. Great. So Samir, what's up with you? What's going on right now? So after completing this course from Skillovilla, I joined Ameriprise Financials. It is an MNC, US-based financial company, more of an advisor business. And so I support the manager research team there. So mm-hmm. we have to look after what the funds we have to invest in and what from which funds we have to take out the cash. So I am research associate there. Okay, got it. So, um, you know, before we dive deep into your online journey with Skillovilla and know more about your role, let's take you back a little and understand what did you do in your graduation and how did you end up deciding that, you know, you want to be a data scientist? I am a master's in finance and business analytics. Uh, Before that, I did BTEC in civil engineering. So okay. when I was doing civil engineering, I realized that I have to go into a field that is more st- towards the coding part. Okay. And therefore, I joined the MBA. In MBA, my specialization was finance and business analytics. Okay. But the business analytics part was not that deep study. So okay. therefore, I joined a job and then I came via the Google. I came to know about Skillovilla and okay. the course uh, career track there was pretty much what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And therefore, I opted for it. If I haven't gone through this Kilovilla course, I would not have been in a job that I am right now. Okay, great. Before joining Skillovilla, did you speak to someone in at Skillovilla, like any counselor or anyone that would have helped in clearing your doubts? Yeah, uh, someone uh, called me from Skillovilla. I had many doubts when I was looking for jobs in data science role. The prerequisites were the bachelor's to be in computer science okay. and master's in some statistics or computer science course. And therefore, I told uh, that person from Sklovela that when I was applying for jobs, I was getting rejected because I didn't have the bachelor's degree in computer science. And if I am able to do it from Sklovela, will I be able to join some profile related to it? So awesome. they made sure that I understand if I do a course, a certification through Sklovela or some other platform, mm-hmm. I'll be able to get a job. But the best part from Sklovela was that Sklovela was providing placement facilities as well. Therefore, I opted for it. Got it. So before making the final final decision of joining Skillovilla, did you also research about other platforms too? Yes, I went through some other platforms as well. The major reason for rejecting the others were they were providing similar kind of career track, but the fees was high. And there were some platforms who weren't giving the classes on weekends. They were on a regular basis. And uh, the course was same, mm-hmm. but the duration was higher than the six months of data science in Skillovilla. Okay. This was also a major point. That's why I opted for Skillovilla. Moreover, the brands you are tied up with are very big companies which were not in other platforms. Right. I looked after some of your faculty. Mm-hmm. Those were also coming from some uh, large companies too. Right. Industrial, industrial right. experts. Okay, so what I understood uh, is that your first instinct was to get a job and since you did not have the relevant industry skill set that was required for that particular job, you got to know about Skillovella and you connected with the counselor who helped you in explaining the things and basically you got the understanding, you know, in order to get into a job where certain industry skills get, since skill sets is required, you need to, to upskill yourself first. So that's how you decided to, you know, uh, ended up joining Skillovella to upskill yourself first in the industry skill set and then go for the job. So now let's take you towards the curriculum. So how was the curriculum for you? Like, is it the, is it benefiting you in any way in your current job? Yeah, so in Skillovella, the career track included the basics of Python and then going towards the machine learning part. Learning Python currently in a job profile, any profile, if you know Python, 
Python, you'll be able to get to upper heights there. So the Python is helping, uh, the Pandas library is helping me to automate stuff there, which were earlier used to be done via VBA or Excel. So the Python helped me. Moreover, uh, the skill sets or the projects uh, that were in Skillovella helped me to understand how the machine learning is being used on practical situations. Okay. Uh, and the machine learning being enabled in practical situations helped me crack the interview. Earlier when I had the knowledge of machine learning, I wasn't able to compare it with the practical or the stuff that relates to a company and how to apply it. But when I applied for a job, the interviewers asked me that uh, the machine learning or uh, the models that you have learned, how would you apply it in the, your daily life or in the company that you are going to join? Got so it. the projects helped me understand what the practical use of models are. Got it. And Samir, I, would, I believe that to venture into something new, let's say, basically if you're studying about something, it's important that you should understand both the theoretical part and the practical part as well. Theoretical is something that you will get the understanding of the same thing and practical will help you in understanding how you're going to apply it in your in solving the real business problem. So you learn that from the projects that you've got at the platform so that's great apart from that to understand what is the practicality of the things that you have learned i'm sure you must have gone through the light classes as well where the industry experts came and interacted with you and since you mentioned that you know the industry experts are from big companies so if you can just throw some light about your experience with the live sessions that held in the weekends and uh, what all industry experts did you connected with in those classes so i have connected with many industrial experts i don't remember the names but I had many doubts because I was one of the students who used to complete the assignments before time. Okay. So I had many doubts because I was learning from some online websites too. I was doing some projects from there as well. Okay. And the industry experts were able to answer all the questions that I had asked. And there were many projects. So mm -hmm. usually my weekdays used to go into projects mm -hmm. and the main part that about Skillovella track is the projects that they ask us to do okay. and even the scores that we get are mm -hmm. very detailed that where okay. we went short and what was the part that was the most liked about the project so mm -hmm. these uh, feedbacks were given by industrial experts I think and those were very detailed mm -hmm. and I am stunned that those industry experts who are working professionals they are giving those weekends to us in learning and prospering in life so right. it helped a lot and whenever I missed classes, they were there to help me. If I have missed some class, uh, earlier class, they'll help me in the doubts from that class too. Okay, great. So I can see that you, first of all, I can see that the classes must be very insightful and must be very fun classes because you get industry insights from the life from the industry experts itself and you can you you always remain up to date as per the industry trends because the industry expert is, itself is coming and taking the session with you and that's great feedback and to understand that the industry experts were flexible in terms of clearing your doubts so it wasn't like if the class is over you cannot ask your doubts later on you can still ask your doubts uh, later on and I'm, I'm i'm sure you must be part of our discord channel the community that is skillola community where you know you can post your queries and everything and there your doubts can be resolved immediately yep. Yeah, I missed that out but I remember it when you are telling about this. So the Discord was very helpful. Skillovella has enabled it as if it is a chatbot. You okay. ask your questions there and you will get the answer as soon as possible. Okay. It can happen only when chatbots are there but the real people are answering those questions is I should appreciate it. Yeah, great to hear that Samit and uh, I'm, 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 I'm happy to hear that so after you uh, you know once you got certified uh, as a data scientist you must have experienced your placement procedure like you move towards your placement process so if you can just throw some light on your placement journey with Skillola, how it has been and what was the steps that needs to be followed in the entire process so there were mock-up interviews as well to me make us prepare for the interviews. I was getting many mails for the complacements that this company is here and you should apply for it. And when I didn't apply for a job, the Skillovilla member called me that you are not applying for jobs for the past three to four companies. Mm -hmm. So I told them about my, I had already been placed. I applied via LinkedIn and I got the job. Okay. Um, and I don't want it right now. 
Okay. Uh, so they told me they explained me that you are getting a good company you have to enroll for it you are getting better packages mm-hmm. uh, so i told them about the my company and they looked into it mm-hmm. and they found it that it is also a big company so they told me that it's okay you are not applying mm-hmm. otherwise we would have created up so much pressure onto you that you have to apply <laughs> okay. so not us the skillovilla is helping us to get a job Right. If we are not interested, even then also they will be pushing us to get a job. Right. This doesn't happen in other platforms or other colleges I have studied in. It is completely up to you that you have to apply for a job or not. Right. In here, it is you are looking into individuals that if even a single one is not applying or applying for a job. Mm-hmm. And uh, when they, I told them about the job, they all told me that you are in a good company, you could stay in it. But if you want the job. Elsewhere, we'll help you in it as well. I am having a two years of job placement facility from this yeah. Skillovina, so yeah. I can apply in future as well if I am not satisfied in my current job. Right. So yeah, you're talking about Skillovina alumni membership. So in this program, what happens is that once you are certified from the platform, if you willing to take the job, if you're not willing to take the job, you will always have this uh, kind of assistance from Skillovilla. So within two years, if you want to, you know, switch into another company or want any kind of assistance regarding the placements, then again we are there to help you out. Apart from the placement that you've already got from Skillovilla. So yeah, that is there, and I'm sure though that that pressure that you're talking about is like a positive pressure. So yeah. you know. because it's it's also because our team is also putting a lot of efforts in order to place the candidates in 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 a good company not just in a company we want our candidates yeah. to have the highest package and to get placed in a big companies as we say that we we are connected with 300 plus partner companies like cred swiggy razor pay so it's not just for the name sake but it's also like we are generally the partners of those companies and we want our candidate students to you know get placed in in such big companies so yeah, yeah. so that is there okay great samik so anything that you would uh, like to recommend to all those data analytics and data science aspirants who wants to join skillovilla's career track or in general wants to make their career into data industry I'll tell them don't be afraid of your background just look for the future join a course get a certificate and you'll get a job you just have to be more sincere to your assignments or time skillovilla will help you to get placed just be sincere take everything seriously that skillovilla tells great great thank you so much samir for such an insightful and honest interview and like you mentioned that the student also have to be sincere in terms of completing their assignments and submitting on time because if you are not doing that if you are not being consistent in the job that is being given to you and you expect that you know you will get the certification you will get the job no company will entertain this kind of behavior right so every company wants a someone who who is diligent towards the work and is sincerely completing the task being assigned to them and have with the relevant industry uh, skill sets So if you're doing that uh, from your end itself then of course skillable is there to help you out with the placement with you getting certified with clearing your doubts and and yeah that's all so great speaking to you samit in the future in case you need any kind of assistance or anything we are there for you you can just give us a call reach out to anyone in the team and we will be happy to help you out so thank you so much again for taking out time and joining the call today collaborate with the skillovilla community today